Oh, hello. I've been thinking a lot about Commander and green Magic the Gathering cards lately. Because as we all know, there's an awesome, well, hopefully awesome, it depends on contents and price, I have hope, new Magic the Gathering product coming next year called Commander Collection Green, and it'll contain eight green Commander cards. Ah, but which eight? I had thought I'd try and guess the cards included, or perhaps offer my own suggestions, but in looking over my own green Commander decks and diving deep into research into the roughly 2,981 green Magic cards, I found myself gravitating instead more towards a list of just must-run awesome green cards for Commander more than any sort of guessing as to what's going to be in that product, the Commander Collection Green. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. My picks for the top eight must-run cards in green for Commander and why. But first, this video is brought to you by Raycon, specifically these Raycon E25 earbuds. This is a wild product that I got into recently, and I'm excited to be able to offer a special deal to my viewers who might be interested in picking up a pair. I'm certainly glad I did. The Raycon E25s are true wireless earbuds, meaning there's no extra cable or wire that needs to run between them. While I may not be the biggest audio expert, I do work with a lot of audio and have tried half a dozen or so other wireless earbuds over the years. These Raycon E25 earbuds really sound just as good as other premium audio brands, and they have simply seamless Bluetooth pairing. I especially like that the Raycons have different sized gel tips to help them stay in your ears. They have amazing sound with cool colors and designs at a great price. Yes, colors. If you know me, you know I love my outfits, love colors, and Raycons come in a wide variety. Match it to your tie or your hair or whatever. But listen, see for yourself. The link in the description will give you access to Raycon's Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. I can't even tell you how good these deals will be. You'll have to just check them out on the site. Just go to buyraycon.com forward slash Tolarian community right now and judge for yourself. And just looking at that link, you'll be helping the channel out greatly. And maybe, just maybe, finding the right accessory, not for your commander deck, but for your out of game life. All right, if you'll allow me just one more preamble before I talk about the eight must-have cards in green in Commander, I want to touch on an honorable mention. This is an artifact that needs green for its activating ability, and I debated making it part of the full list and where on the list it should go before I just settled on, eh, we'll make it an honorable mention. I love this card. It is like a Pokedex of Magic the Gathering, and it's a must-run in green. And that card is... Lifekeeper's Bestiary. Come on, it's a Pokedex, look at it. Lifecrafter's Bestiary costs three generic. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay green. If you do, draw a card. This is an honorable mention because it is technically an artifact, but it is fueled by green mana. And if you are running a green commander deck, then it is very likely that you'll want a copy, especially when the cost is currently only $1.70 each. The beginning of turn scry is by itself extremely powerful and helpful in commander, especially. But getting card draw at each creature spell for only a single green mana is fantastic in green decks. Green being the color of mana ramping, but not so much of card drawing. Bestiary creates a fantastic one piece engine to filter the top cards of your library and draw into advantage. It's a must have in commander for those in green. Now, as we continue down this list, I want to remind you that these are not, I repeat, not my guesses for Commander Collection Green, which might have odd or unusual inclusions as well as staples. These are the eight must-run green cards you must run in your green EDH deck, or the ones that I've picked out for you to consider anyway. And as we continue down that list, let us see what lies within with Beast Within. Beast Within is too generic in a green for an instant that can destroy target permanent. Its controller creates a 3-3 green beast creature token. Green is a color that has trouble enough with removal as is, so Beast Within is a great catch-all spell that removes, well, 
anything. It'll hit any permanent, so you can have it in your hand, and it's a one-spell instant answer to planeswalkers, land, creatures, enchantments, any permanent whatsoever. The cost, beyond a paltry 3 CMC, is that the owner of said permanent gets a 3-3 token, which is a very small price to pay. Even green decks that are running other, more removal comfortable colors will likely consider Beast Within the perfect beast of a card to put within their commander deck. You know, maybe I am still naive after all these years, but I have a lot of confidence in Commander Collection Green. I do. Even if it contains none of the cards from this list, I think we'll be witness to a real year of excitement for Commander, including awesome reprints. Come on, just once, just once. But next on my list is a witness of a different sort. The must-have and must-run Eternal Witness in green. Eternal Witness costs a generic and two green for a human shaman that reads, when Eternal Witness enters the battlefield, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. One of the most quintessential green cards, it is a shock to learn it has only appeared in two different years of Commander Precons, when it is the perfect example of a green card that I'd put in every green commander deck every year that we offer precons. And doing so might have been a nice way to keep the price down as Eternal Witness has crawled up to $5 each. Not terrible, but as a must run, not great. And no wonder, Commander, the singleton format is where our plans for victory are so often undone by the single destruction of a key card. Well, Eternal Witness is, in many ways, a second copy of a card of our choice, so long as that card resides in our graveyard. Beautiful and efficient recursion, Eternal Witness can resurrect your failed plans, and if you are in colors that have access to blink effects, the Human Shaman can flicker for some extreme value. Another must run in green. Coming in at number six is a card that would be number one on my personal list of Green Commander staples, just in terms of favorites, as it's a fantastic and powerful way to shelter your creatures from threats, and even to enhance my much beloved wheeling and dealing at the game table, and that card is Asceticism. Asceticism is a bit pricey at three generic and two green for an enchantment that reads, creatures you control have hexproof, meaning they can't be the targets of spells or abilities your opponents control. But for one generic and a green, you can also regenerate target creature. I used to run this all the time back when Asceticism was in standard, and it didn't take long for it to become a must run in every green commander deck I own. First, the blanket hexproof to all creatures you control is a level of protection from your three to four opponents that is simply wondrous in Commander. But the ability to regenerate any of them for one generic and a green is powerful protection indeed. Note that the creature you regenerate does not have to be green, so even three color decks will benefit from asceticism. And the one generic and the regenerate ability helps out in terms of not needing a more overcosted double green. Also, notice it is target creature and not target creature you control. Asceticism is just sublime in commander politics, letting you broker deals to save an opponent's creatures or team up against the arch enemy with ease. An absolute must have and must run, sadly creeping up there in price at $8 each. Have you ever had that moment in commander where a board wipe is just about to ruin your day and wished against all odds that some superhero could swoop in and save you from your opponent's cruel spell? Well, number five is that heroic intervention made magical reality with the aptly named Heroic Intervention. Heroic Intervention, a mere one in a green. For an instant that reads, permanence you control gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Heroic Intervention in many ways is the Teferi's protection of green. Thankfully costing less to cast, though not cheap in price at $11 each, my goodness. But look at what this does. It more or less is going to try and save everything you own. Since the protection applies not just to creatures, say, or artifacts, but to all permanents, well then, you will have full coverage for any type of wipe affecting, well, planeswalkers, lands, creatures, enchantments, whatever. Adding hexproof stops any targeted removal, and indestructible takes care of most of the rest. Its only weakness is, of course, sacrifice and exile effects, but a 2CMC near catch-all answer in green is a must-run in just about any green EDH deck. 
back. Now we actually saw number four as one of the only reprints of note in this year's Commander products. And while it was welcome, many of us felt that it didn't quite bring the whole product line back up to its previous heights of perfection. Still, that reprint was extremely welcome as it's a must run green staple for Commander. And given how high the price had gone, I think we were all happy to see Seedborn Muse in this year's Commander lineup. Seedborn Muse is a spirit for three generic and two green mana. Untap all permanents you control during each other player's untap step. Oh boy. Recently reprinted in Commander 2019, Seedborn Muse still commands a $6 price tag, and it is no wonder. While the 2-4 body of this spirit might have some occasional use, it's the ability that makes all the difference. Untapping all permanents during not just one other player's turn, but all of them is absolute insanity in Commander. This includes lands, cards with powerful tap to activate abilities, artifacts, everything. And in the average three to four player Commander game, it's going to help push you far into the lead advantage wise. While there's indeed a plethora of combos that can be built around on this card, it is powerful enough that just untapping all of your creatures and lands will usually be sufficient without any added crazy schemes. The double green in its casting cost might be slightly annoying in three color decks, but even then, the power the Muse brings is worth the effort. So longtime viewers know that sometimes in these lists I have a tie between number one and number two, but here I actually have the tie between number two and number three. Two amazing must-run green staples that are actually duplicates of one another. And they're high up on the list because, well, I hope that's indicative of them being cornerstones of just about any green commander deck. Those cards, of course, are Kadama's Reach and Cultivate. And if you are in green in commander and you're not running both of these, then what are you even doing? So both Cultivate and Kadama's Reach is two generic and a green for sorcery that reads, search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal those cards, and put one of them onto the battlefield tapped and the other into your hand. Yes, it is the same card, but it is just so nice we're gonna run it twice. Green is the color of big creatures, but it is also the color of mana ramp. And in Commander, ramp is one of your most powerful tools next to card draw. These two cards are the creme de la creme of mana ramp. And the fact they search not for two forests, but for two basic lands, means means even in three colors, you'll want both copies in your deck. Thankfully, the costs for these cards are just one and two dollars each. They're easy to acquire, and yet I think it's a great example of a card that, though not really costly in terms of real world price, would be an awesome pick for some sort of blinged out full art in that upcoming Commander product. Is it full art? I don't even know if it's full art. It's something special. So what's the number one must run green staple for Commander? Well, I thought long and hard about what to place in this number one spot. And I was very close to saying Reach and Cultivate were tied for the spot, as I do think those two spells really embody green EDH in many ways, or at least mana ways. But what truly is a special, distinct spell to place here, no, it's not Oracle of Moldiah, though it could be considered a spiritual sibling, as my number one pick brings overwhelming advantage to the green green deck, and that card is Courser of Crufix. Courser of Crufix is a generic and double green for an enchantment creature. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. And of course it has that nice 2-4 body. I am shocked this card is only $5 each as it is just so powerful and versatile. Okay, so the advantage that playing with the top card of your library revealed is one thing, but being able to play it if it's a land is overwhelming. Not only will you ramp up your lands and play, but it means you're never gonna have a land draw for turn again. Despite the double green in its casting cost, Crufix works wonders in multicolor commanders. The lands you can play are all lands, so lands that make any color of mana, lands that are non-basics, you can play all of them with Crufix, and they all get spit out and onto your board. Major advantage. When combined with the other cards on this list, the Beast Cherry 
library, letting you scry that top land, cultivate and reach, thinning out your library, ramping up your mana, asceticism protecting the courser, an eternal witness bringing it back when needed. Well, we see a dramatic synergy at play. It is the synergy of the forest, of the wildlife, of the rivers and stream. It is the synergy of must-run cards in green. I'm actually really looking forward to the comments of this video because, again, with roughly 2,981 green cards in Magic, there's going to be some level of debate about which eight are the most great to run in your commander deck. So be sure to take a moment and let me know in the comments below if there's a green card that you think deserved a spot on this list. And don't forget to check out that special offer from Raycom E25 earbuds. Just take a look at the price and decide for yourself. And just doing so, just by clicking that link to see how much they're being offered at helps this channel a lot and maybe gives you more great ideas for the perfect gift this holiday season. So go to buyraycon.com forward slash Tolarian community to check out that amazing Black Friday deal on Raycons.